Welcome to the Crypto Bus Angel channel. Let's look at XYO. I know it had a huge pump up yesterday. It bounced off the support 2.9, uh, basically for a triple bottom. That's beautiful, actually. Uh, and it went all the way to your resistance at 3.6, had a huge wick almost to 4, and got rejected. And now it's basically coming back down to the support at 3.05. If you can't hold 3.05, I'm looking for the next move lower to be 2.74. Uh, that was basically a fake out, maybe a bold trap before you come lower. Uh, daily chart wants to dump on you. Three-day chart's getting close to being overbought. The weekly chart has some more room to go up. Um, Four-hour chart is trying to make a higher low. That is interesting. And the one-hour chart as well is trying to make a higher low. But to me, that's it dumped really fast, and now it's going... I mean, that's kind of pushing it to call out a falling, which is all I'm trying to say. Six hour chart is trying to make a falling or trying to make a higher low as well. 12 hour probably will as well. So that is very interesting. Uh, I would basically still, it, because you couldn't hold or get above that resistance and couldn't do an SR flip, I'd still be looking for 291. And if that doesn't hold 274, like I just said, I mean, you can maybe say it's a falling wedge, but I really think it's falling too fast to call that a falling wedge. You want falling wedges to go down a little bit slower than that. Um, so to me right now, like maybe instead of going down like this, you'd want to go down uh, something like this. Like, I, you know, you want to go in a wedge like this, up, down, up, down, versus just going straight down. So to me, that's not really a falling wedge. Uh, I would be looking now for 2.9 as support and then 2.74 for the next measure move lower uh, based on the FIB. So if you guys enjoyed this quick update... Uh, I appreciate if you hit the like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. If you guys have requests for other videos, let me know in the comment section below. And unfortunately, I am bearish on XYO. It was probably just a bull trap. So we'll see what happens. But uh, long-term, XYO probably will be fine. Short-term, it still looks like it could make new lows in the spare market. I'll see you guys in the next update.